So in this example, we are asked to find all the complex zeros of the given polynomial function. So we have f of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 11x minus 15. So what I want to do first is try to find all the possible rational zeros. Maybe there's a positive zero that comes into play here. So let's take a look. Let's find out what our p and our q is. Now, in one of the earlier videos, we talked about the rational root theorem, rational zeros theorem, and uh, that's where this comes from, okay? So if you haven't seen it, you might watch that video, okay? So let's see here. p in this case happens to be this negative 15, and q happens to be 1, and that actually makes it very easy for us. The factors of 1 are only 1 and negative 1. And this one right here, factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and of course 15, and we're considering both positive and negative cases. So I'm going to circle this right here, and these are what I call all my possible rational zeros. So I'm going to put all possible rationals. Okay, let's put all possible rationals. Now, what I encourage you to do is to do 1, 2, 3, 4, times two, eight synthetic divisions to find out which one of those eight may be zeros. And potentially there are three zeros. Okay, so potentially three zeros. And let's see. You could also do this on your calculator. Plug each one of these eight numbers into your calculator in this function and see which one gives you zero. So you might want to pause the video to do that, but uh, you either do synthetic divisions or you do the uh, calculator method by plugging in one of those, eight, all eight of the numbers into the function. So go ahead and hit pause right now if you'd like. Okay, so I guess we're back now. If you've hit pause and if you're staying with us, you saw a really, uh, probably a really weird pause. Uh, so here we are now. I know right now that the one that works is 3. 3 happens to be a 0 of this polynomial function. So I'm going to put 3 on the outside. I'm going to put 1. I'm going to put negative 5. I'm going to put 11. And I'm going to put negative 15. Circle my 1 and bring that straight down. I get 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. 3 by negative 2 is negative 6. 11 minus 6 is, uh, let's see, positive 5, and 3 by 5 is 15, and of course we get 0 because 3 was a 0 of the polynomial. So let's take a look here. This gives me x squared minus 2x plus 5, okay, and that equals 0. So now that I have that, uh, let's see, I knew that x equals 3 was one of the zeros, and that came from x minus 3. So x minus 3 times x squared minus 2x plus 5 will actually give me this polynomial right here. But my next, my next task is to figure out what this is right here. So what I'm going to do here is use the quadratic formula now. a equal 1, b equal negative 2, and c equal 5. Okay? So there we have that, and we're going to take opposite of b, so opposite of negative 2, plus and minus the square root. We have negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5, okay? So 4ac all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So that's going to give us a positive 2 plus and minus the square root of 4 minus 20, all divided by 2. And 4 minus 20 happens to be negative 16. So let's clear that up just a bit. 2 plus and minus the square root of negative 16 divided by 2. Well, this happens to be the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. We know the square root of negative 1 to be i and the square root of 16 to be 4. So 2 plus and minus 4i in this case divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 here is 1, and 4i divided by 2 is 2i. So 1 plus and minus 2i is what we have right here. 
Okay. So then we've got this right here as our solution uh, for the other zeros. So the other zero, of course, being uh, x equals 3. So I'm going to actually list them all together now that I think about it. Just go ahead and do that. x equals 3, x equals 1 plus 2i, and then, of course, x equals 1 minus 2i. So if you have to list them online, you probably list those right there separated with commas. But, of course, these are the zeros, both uh, real and complex, uh, for this given polynomial function.